Hey everybody, I'm George Runkle, president of Runkle Consulting Incorporated. We're structural engineers and our primary business is designing buildings made from shipping containers. In this video, what I'm going to cover is the issues with trying to put plumbing in the shipping containers. Containers are not like standard buildings where you have plenty of room a lot of times to put your plumbing in and I'm going to show the problems that we run into in this brief video. I hope you enjoy it and uh, thanks a lot for coming to my channel. Take care. Okay, let's uh, take a look here what we got. And here is our building that we're looking at. Let me rotate it and show you where the issue comes in. If this is going to cooperate with me. The issue that we have with shipping containers when we stack them up is we don't have much room to put the plumbing in. See underneath you've got these cross members which is basically your only area that you have to put your plumbing in and the cross members here are only six inches deep or 150 millimeters about 154 I think or 158 exactly millimeters deep um, anyway it's about six inches that doesn't give you much room to put your plumbing in for example this plumbing here this is three inch pipe trying to fit this up inside this area is tight and if you try to run the plumbing down along a certain direction you've got to have a slope and in the United States the required slope is a quarter inch per foot uh, in most plumbing codes for and that turns into about over 12 feet you're going to have three inches of slope which is about 75 millimeters and if we're talking about 150 millimeters depth or six inches depth that's about half the depth you're going down in a 12 foot run and you're plumbing you're likely going to be below your cross members here and most buildings you have a significant um, amount of uh, room up in the ceiling to run your plumbing so you can manage to have some freedom with where you put your bathrooms and how you run the plumbing out of the building with shipping containers you just don't have it so like on this floor here let me go up here and I'll show you what I had to do is let's come in and you can see in between here see this pipe here I've, ha I've been able to squeeze that up inside between the cross members from the toilet and it comes down to the stack and then the stack just goes directly right into the way uh, the pipe here I've stacked uh, bathrooms are stacked one on top of the other instead of in different locations that's one of the big issues and here let's take a look at our ground floor unit one here's the bathroom here and let's go to pull up our second floor that we've got and you see the second floor bathroom is stacked exactly on top of the other one and the reason is is that I was able to take the waste pipes back here to the stack and run them straight out it's the only way it works and then you got we've got some issues with trying to squeeze everything inside this wall so this wall here is actually a thicker wall so I can make it usable as a chase behind the bathroom and fit in all the waste piping that's got to be in here it's a very difficult thing it's almost like threading a needle to put the plumbing into these things and uh, it's worked out that in a lot of these jobs we aren't hiring a plumbing engineer I'm doing the plumbing engineering because the harder thing isn't so much sizing the pipes or designing the plumbing it's figuring out where the heck to put it that it doesn't you don't end up cutting through main structural members of the container or screwing up the container or just trying to work around the constraints of the container so that's one of the issues that I've got with uh, doing container design the other issue is of course HVAC with where you put your ductwork 
and I'll do a quick video on another time for the HVAC. Uh, we pretty much get around that by just using split systems. So thanks a lot, and uh, I hope you liked this video, and uh, we'll keep posting videos on shipping containers. Thank you.